be more honored and delighted to be here for Garth, because Garth is for all of us. Mm -hmm. And I just want to talk just for a bit, how did I find Garth? You know? I was offered by Disney this extraordinary opportunity to create a pantheon of animals on the stage, hundreds of them, and I figured out that they were probably going to have to be done with these costumes and these extended arms and heads and puppets and masks and what choreographer in their right mind would want to do that? <laughs> right dancers? We don't do that. <laughs> I mean, I've been on a show before when a choreographer had said to me, you want my dancers to have props? <laughs> so I was searching. And I knew it wasn't just Broadway choreography that I was searching for. And I happened to go to the Joyce Theater and I saw Garth Fagan dancers. that was so rich in isolation, detail, absolute character, and it could become, it could have come from many, many different cultures. That doesn't mean it wasn't authentically Jamaican, African, Garth, American, LA, whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> but I knew that he could, he could bring these, these incredible creatures to life. And so we met at my apartment, and I just asked him at dinner tonight, what did you think? He said, well, I liked your apartment. <laughs> but this is the thing. It is scary to find your partner, your choreographer, your, your, the person who's going to make the show. And Garth made the show with me. Because as Garth says, discipline is freedom. And I want to say that we all up here know what that means. A lot of people in the audience or people you meet don't understand that because discipline seems hard. But what is so beautiful, and there's another way of putting it, limitation is freedom, is that Garth and I both come from that place where maybe you can only lift your arm up so high with a kimono sleeve in the no theater. But it isn't that you can lift it up that high. It's how you lift it from here to here. And I found my soulmate in Garth Fagan. Truly, totally. We see people blossom when they're given some restrictions sometimes. That somehow it allows them to become bigger than themselves. Because it's not just themselves that are there, it's a whole world. So artists, artists are free. And they're also disciplined. And I want to thank Arthur for being who he is. Congratulations. Wow.